Tonight, for the first time, the Pinellas County School Board is addressing some big concerns at Seminole Middle School. Parents contacted Eight on Your Side after three students were caught on camera attacking a teacher. Those parents are now demanding changes in protocol. News Channel 8's Avery Cotton joins us live at the school board office, and I understand some pretty tense moments today, Avery, in that meeting. Emotions certainly ran high. Good evening to you, Stacy. You know, parents have been telling us for quite some time now that violence at the school is so bad, something needs to happen. Today, the school board told them changes have already started. My kid deserves the right to go to class in a safe environment. In a heated school board meeting. Just, just a minute. Just a minute, please. Parents of Seminole Middle School students unleash their frustration regarding what they call a lack of discipline by administrators. They tell us this video of three students fighting in the hall happens daily. Last Thursday, a student threw a fire extinguisher through the gym window. My sixth grader and many other sixth graders are trying to learn in class. And the only thing they're worried about is if they're going to be attacked when the bell rings. News Channel 8 learned there have been more than 100 calls since January from the school to the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office, many for assault. This is Seminole Middle School problem. This is a middle school problem in general. Uh, we haven't had an incident quite like this. There's a lot of issues right now. This is at Seminole because the incident occurred there. Now, these parents want big changes in disciplinary procedures. I understand what you're saying. But the board is not being negligent. Assistant Superintendent Bob Poth explained changes were made immediately following the fight, new dismissal routines, and changing seating in the cafeteria. They are also initiating increased supervision within the hallways and student travel areas. Still, parents left the meeting disappointed. Well, right I have never been present at one of these meetings before. I'm pretty disgusted as how they handled it. And while small changes have been made, the board is waiting to go through all of the facts, meaning the official complaints filed by parents, as well as the sheriff's reports, before determining whether more drastic measures should be taken. Stacy, Avery, let's talk about the principal for a second. Her name is Wendy Bryan. Has she had any comment during all of this? Well, not to us, but the school board did tell the parents today that if they would like to sit down and speak with her, she has spoken with parents who do have frustrations. All parents need to do is make an appointment with her, and she will be more than happy to speak with them. All right. Avery Cotton live tonight. Thank you very much.